strategy and a process that you can use over any holiday weekend. And we are now coming into, frankly, the fall and the holiday season. So at the end of the day, you could be talking to three or four people a day about your business, and you'd be talking to people that clearly need and want what you have. Okay, so Steve, you got some conversations. Kathy, you got some conversations. We'll take a look at those. All right. Now, today, we're going to focus on how you can enroll more reps over the holiday weekend. For some people, it started on Friday, but you've got Saturday, today, Sunday, and Monday. So you've got three days to take advantage of the holiday season. Additionally, at 1 o'clock this afternoon, I'm going to be kicking off my mastermind series. And I pretty much invited all of you to participate. And during our mastermind sessions, this is when we identify the problems that are holding you back. Whether it's an open, advanced group problem solving forum, it's for my coaching students. And, uh, but anybody that's not a coaching student can come in and see, maybe get some questions answered for yourself. How have you overcome confidence issues? We're going to discuss recruiting conversations with prospects, resolve closing issues with prospects, and we're going to review the 90-day game plan process. And help team building issues it's a wide open forum so let's talk about enrolling more reps over the holiday weekend well first and foremost there are all kinds of holidays yes we're celebrating the Labor Day weekend. But there are also unofficial holidays. Like, for example, today is International Bacon Day. And using these gifts, using these moving images when you communicate with folks gives you something else to talk about. We've got We're World Beard Day today. Today. So these are your unofficial holidays. You got World Beard Day, National Tailgating Day, additionally, now National Welsh Rarebit Day. Tomorrow, Eat an Extra Dessert Day, National Wildlife Day, National Macadamia, Macadamia Nut Day. And then on Monday, we have the official Labor Day holiday. It's also the unofficial Be Late for Something Day. And it's also Cheese Pizza Day. So the bottom line for all of you is that taking advantage of these holidays, hosting them, will start conversations with prospects, will enable you to restart conversations with prospects, And it's all about conversation. Professional network marketers work when other people play and play when other people work. So it's often easier to connect with your prospects on a social network during a holiday weekend because while they're not working, they do receive and check their messages. I got this on Friday from one of my new coaching students. And let me see if... Um,
I'm looking for someone that I just that I'm just starting to work with. And it was funny because as I was talking to her and explaining how working with me one on one works. Because I can teach anybody how to do this in five hours. And after we got finished, and she told me she had just spent, invested over $12,000 on coaching to learn how to build a funnel to build capture pages. She said to me, she says, where have you been all my life? And I had to laugh because I hear it every day. So I got this from Lane on Friday. Thank you for your coaching, mentoring, and sharing with me your Mac system. It really works. After a few weeks of trusting the process and being in my head with that silly little voice that sometimes says things like this won't work, I did it. I had the first of what I trust will be many enrollments to come in the future. Now, I had a friend of mine that used to be in another network marketing company look at my LinkedIn profile, and he picked up the phone, and he basically says, what are you doing? What are you doing? We set up a Zoom meeting, and now within 24 hours later, he's enrolled. Now, this same process will happen to, to all of you, all of you, when you make some changes on your Facebook page, when you make some changes on your LinkedIn page, it comes down to conversation. And then, of course, last week, I heard from Francisco. So at the beginning of the month, he had no time to do any recruiting, but he started in seven days. He enrolled 25 people. And today we're going to dig a little deeper into how he did it and how you can be doing it too. And Craig, just by opening up his settings had results that he never thought were possible. Greg, is that you? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Would you share with everybody what, what happened? Well, yes. Uh, to be honest, I really thought that uh, this was just a lot of hype. <laughs> I really did, but I said, well, I'll go ahead and try it anyway. So uh, you got my uh, Facebook uh, profile cover and changed my picture, took some things off, and and to my surprise, I got uh, immediately after that six friend requests from qualified prospects. It was really amazing professional people. Got one request from the vice president of the Yamaha Corporation that I used to work with, and it was amazing on that. I got many new people and old people commenting on my new profile page, and I, I've never had that before. They liked the profile page. I got two people asking me to join my internet business. It was absolutely crazy. Uh, they just sent a message and said, uh, uh, Craig, uh, can I join your uh, internet business? The reason why they never knew I had an internet business. You know, uh, I said that I was a uh, music education director and, you know, I was a wellness educator and that's it. And then uh, when you went in and changed my header in LinkedIn, and changed my intro in Facebook, then it just blew up like crazy. Now, I do have now 4,400 people, and it's just going like crazy, and I love it when I never had people to just come in and ask, may I join your internet business? And I never talked to them before about it, but because my Facebook profile page uh, said that, then whenever they clicked, my introduction or my header show every time. And one guy said, well, I'm so happy to see all the things that you do. So on all my things that are listed on my header and in my intro, I'm getting responses on all of those. It's just amazing. I never knew something like that would even exist. Now, again, subtle little things that you can be doing. And let me pop up here. Okay, Joseph, so what did you want me to look at this morning? I just unmuted you.
Hi, Max. How are you? Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, I, I had a question from the other day. I was going to be selling insurance to people in the MLM business and home-based business, right. and I wanted to get some ideas how what my first approach should be using you know, the LinkedIn and your system okay. to, so let's, to do so let's that. Question. Um, what kind of insurance are you selling? It, it's health insurance. Okay. So it would be health sharing. Now, what kind of, now, typically everybody could use health insurance, but um, if, if there was a demographic of uh, people that are naturally attracted to, to the program that you're selling, what would that be? It would be people with home-based business and just small, small businesses and, you know, mom and pop stores where, you know, we, we can help them with insurance and saving them like 30 to 50% off of what they're paying currently. Okay. All right. Got it. So we'll, we will get into that this morning. Now, if you know who your ideal prospect is going to be, they're easy to connect with. They're easy to find on Facebook. They're easy to find on LinkedIn. The key is to start a conversation and then discover you think they're a prospect based on what you see. Discover during a casual conversation whether indeed they are prospects for your business. Now we know that it's easy to get somebody to ask you what you do. All you have to do is ask them what they do and 85% of the time they're gonna come back and you're gonna ask you the same question. The key is not, you're not looking for the opportunity to tell people about your business. You're looking for the opportunity to learn enough about the other person so that you know right out of the gate that they are indeed prospects for your business. Getting somebody to ask you what you do is a piece of cake. Piece of cake. And we don't care if they don't ask you. Again, it all comes down to you having conversations, and I'm going to demonstrate it today. Now, Will Zanders, within 24 hours, actually within 72 hours, after we opened up his settings and we made and we showed him how invisible he was, within 72 hours, he was the number one recruiter. Once you're visible, he sent me this. Since last week, I made two posts, generated dozens of easy conversations by following your scripts word for word, and I generated a dozen sales. I do have a great, great quick. I'm going to skip. I'm driving, so I want to share this quick testimonial in case my signal cuts out. I'm heading out of Vegas right now. I had a great time in Las Vegas. You know, I was in your boot camps. Okay. Basically, here's what he shared. Every time he changes picture, he ended up with conversa having conversations. He went from the number six leader in his company. Now he's number two. He's making over $50,000 a month. And he can't get over the results he's having. Rosie, one year after she started, had an organization of 50, 15,000 people in her to see a business. Now, I'm not showing these to impress you. I'm showing these to impress upon you what other people are doing. And frankly, you can be doing it too. Dana is the top recruiter in her company. She's making over $100,000 a month. George just changed his Facebook page, made himself more visible, made one post, and it's going bananas. And changed her picture. Changed her picture. Had 44 people to respond. And with Russell, after making two little posts, Got two appointments to talk about your business. Now you can help your new recruits make a few sales immediately before they make their traditional warm market list. And this is so important. You don't need a funnel. You don't need a website. You don't need capture pages or any of that other stuff. Change today, change your picture on your Facebook page. 
all right change it and what's going to happen is people that you're connected to some of them you're going to know some of them maybe you don't know but they react they said they come back and say hey max nice picture hey steve nice picture now that gives you an opportunity to start a conversation with people you don't have to respond to everybody you just want to respond to the people that you believe could possibly have an interest in your business if you call that person like they want you to do initially in network marketing to tell them what you're doing you're going to get rejected you're going to get people that are going to make you question the wisdom of even getting involved in what you're doing and some people never get started as a result of what happens when they call their warm market and so network marketing has come up with all kinds of cliches like oh you got to go through 100 no's to get a yes so you're supposed to get excited because every no you get is one step closer to a yet and that's bs because whoever is telling you that does not know the true power of a social network instead of going for no go for yes by changing the process by having somebody react to something that you did the dynamics of the conversation change and we're going to prove it today but we're going to go into some accounts so somebody likes your picture you bring her into the business then you help them open up their settings because just because you saw what they did doesn't mean that the, all the people they're connected to do get them to open up their setting change your picture that's one of 11 different things that they can do you don't have to be a computer genius and that gets them talking to the people that react and respond to what they do so that you help them bring two of their friends into the business friends that most likely would have turned them down or shot them down if they had called them directly then you help those two people do the same thing open up your settings change your picture post a joke post something about the holidays and the next thing they know is they're talking to people that they're connected to and it just duplicates like crazy it's not what works in network marketing folks it's what duplicates and some of you can apply what i'm sharing with you today you can apply it later today you can apply it tomorrow you can apply it on monday bring somebody into your business on monday by wednesday they're going to bring in their friends and by friday they're going to be bringing in their friends so the formula works on every social network create a page connect with people communicate with them and close them we call it the four c's and it's behind the success of top earning network marketers because it gives you easy direct access to people so how did francisco enroll 25 people in his business in seven days he connected with people that share his, his hobbies right out of my original training program can have a view that you're your passion for an activity so think about it what do you like to do boating cruising fishing flying sailing marathons running tennis working out surfing skydiving and if you're sitting there thinking to yourself man i don't have a hobby i'm so busy trying to stay keep my head above water i haven't i don't have a hobby well you know what think about the hobby that you'd like to start when finances are different maybe you had a hobby years ago think about a hobby you'd like to begin once your cash flow was substantial we're going to show you how to make your cash flow substantial and you could reach out to people that are engaged in those hobbies so what activities are you passionate about all right and why don't some of you okay Sybil we will take a look at that all right now so type in the chat window what your hobbies are and coming up in our September boot camp we've got a lot of new things that we're going to be sharing actually some of them are not as new 
but we're giving them extra emphasis. And so you take a quote like, it is impossible to win the race unless you venture to run. Impossible to win the victory unless you dare to battle. Winners are not people who never fail, but people who never quit. Run your own race and stop comparing yourself to others. Winning is not everything, but the effort to win is. Years ago, when I was actively racing my sailboat, winning was everything. If you come in second, you're just the first loser. So you can go on the internet and you do a search for skiing under images and pull up a picture that shows skiing in a format. And I mean, literally nobody, nobody knows it's who it is. You can take that picture and you can overlay in order for things to change, you have to change. And what this does is this them and you make this your profile cover. What this does is it, or you could actually just post this. What this does is it demonstrates a lifestyle. It demonstrates a lifestyle that the people that you want to connect with want to follow. Once you begin to change, so will the world around you. Go on, do a search for marathons, and you'll come up with a whole list. Take one of the images. Make it a color. It is impossible to win the race unless you run, venture to run. So these are some examples. Once you begin to change, so will the world around you. Now we make these examples available to you when you're in boot camp, in case you haven't checked it out yet. Whatever your hobby is, whatever you like to do. Now, with my new tactics and strategies, you can beat your competition to connecting with the hottest possible prospects, produce immediate results and faster enrollments, position yourself as an authority to everyone in your niche market, even if you're not an authority, ensure you'll be chosen over your competitors, enroll experienced network marketing leaders, and many more new reps, and duplicate the process with everyone on your team. Because everything that you're learning is something that happens fast. So ask yourself this question. How many people did you sign up in your business in August? Hmm? How many? Francisco enrolled 25 people in seven days. Of course, the other question is, how many people are you talking to every day? You can't fail. With unlimited prospects to talk to and with continual practice, you can't fail. You can't fail. The content of your profile and your daily activity positions you to be perceived as an expert and influencer by everyone that sees it. The secret to connecting with the huge pool of prospects available to you, attracting a constant flow of perfect prospects that easily convert to new business partners and customers has to do with three things. The relationships you create with your profile, the influence you generate with your activity and posts, and the conversations you initiate with your prospects. So the ability to get people to talk to you, follow you, take action, and join your team revolves around everyone's perception of who you are, which is completely in your hands and totally in your control. So here's what you need to know. First, it takes 90 minutes for the average person to respond to an email, but it only takes 90 seconds for the average person to respond to a text message. Today, 99% of your prospecting and recruiting and business building activity can now be done on your mobile phone with a Facebook and a LinkedIn phone app. It's easy to talk to people with a text. Texting is like talking. Texting is sometimes better than talking because most people don't answer their phone today, but everyone looks at their texts. First, a text isn't intrusive, is an unexpected phone call, and people can see who you are by looking at your profile. Texting is universally accepted and almost everyone does it. Most new network marketers are reluctant to call people, but will eagerly text someone when provided with proper strategies and scripts. And texting doesn't require any special skills and there's no learning curve. You can literally build your business on a mobile phone. Now adding animated content to your text message is producing immediate results. And it's a way to impress your connections and showcase your social networking expertise. Because a GIF, a moving image draws extra attention to your message so people are much more likely to answer it much faster.
So I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. What are you doing to enjoy the holiday is just one way to start a conversation. The frequent use of animated gifts will make you stand out from the crowd of other people that your prospects are talking to, makes them smile and makes them respond to you faster. And what we're seeing happening now is LinkedIn is actually making it easier for people to use gifts. So you might as well learn how to do this early. So the ripple effect of your posts can start conversations that result in sales, whether it's your birthday, whatever it is, anniversaries, posting something that motivates people, gets them thinking, posting something about the economy or holidays. And we have two kinds of holidays. We have the official holidays that everybody's aware of, and then we have the unofficial holidays that people don't know about, that people react and respond to. So today is International Bacon Day, and it's also Beard Day. On Monday, Labor Day, it's Labor Day, and then it's National Cheese Pizza Day. And you could get a little bit ahead. Do you know that on Wednesday, it's National Beer Lovers Day? So there are actually over 40 different holidays. The holiday strategy creates more likes, comments, and shares, more conversations, opportunities to introduce your business, better rapport with your prospects, increase awareness of who you are, the perception that you're an expert in your niche audience, and appreciation of your influence or status. And so you have from Saturday to Monday to kick this up. Now, people respond to you faster when you post a gift. A like, a comment starts conversations. And anybody that likes or comments or shares what you've done becomes a lead. Leads become prospects, and prospects become business builders or customers, depending upon who they are and what they're all about. So you need to start talking to people. On Facebook and LinkedIn, you can easily connect with somebody, and then genuine, solid relationships can be developed quickly with effective conversation and engagement. So when Clyde posted on Friday of the Memorial Day weekend. Initially, 55 people responded, five people enrolled. He talked to them. Two of them are going to build a business. By the end of the day, it was 105 people. Posting any kind of a motivational image gets people to react and respond. And then finally, we have our special project launch strategy that gets your prospects talking about or wanting to know more about your business, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to pop over here. We're gonna go over to LinkedIn. And let me see what we have in the chat window. Okay, so first, let's look at Sybil. Uh, I mean, that's not, that's not the, um,
conference. Thank you. And let's log in. Okay, so first and foremost, let's look at the size of your network. Now, I know you want to enroll 25 people in seven days, that's the goal, but you're only connected to seven, seven, 44 people. Francisco is connected to over 4,000. So the bottom line is, does that mean you have to build it up to that size? No, no. Uh, I've had some of my coaching students have actually enrolled people within 24 hours of getting started and they were brand new. They were connecting to people that clearly knew what they had. So reading spirituality books, playing string quartets, interested to pursue raw food. Now, under normal circumstances, that's not gonna help you with a cover, okay? Let me Okay, Sybil, so you say you had somebody respond? Yeah, I've had a couple now, actually. Okay, so let's go over to your messages. Who are you looking at? Who are you looking at? So this this Margaret one, and then I had a couple from last night, too, that responded. Okay, now, so when you say they responded. Well, there was well, actually somebody, let's say it was the Carlotta that actually typed to be something. Okay, okay. So, so, okay, so what happened here is you sent her a message because you reached out to a nurse. You have a nursing background. Right. She accepted you. So now what you're going to do is you're going to send her the icebreaker, the second message. Margaret, it's nice to connect with you. I've made some wonderful new friends this way. How long have you been on LinkedIn? How's it working for you? Every, everybody that accepts you. So that's what we're here to do. Okay. So this person here, you wrote to her? I did. And she says, thank you. I see you're an entrepreneur. If I could ever assist you with anything in the realm of improving your health and fitness or creating a stream of residual income, please feel free to reach out to me. So design your life. Entrepreneur, million. <laughs> now, remember, we talked about this. This is not someone. This is not someone that you're going to sign up in your business. Oh, okay. Because if you look, number one, something that you know that she doesn't, she's got a follow me button up here. We use the back door to reach out to her. You come down here and you look at her profile. Well, she's been a nurse for 10 years. But we come down here and we can tell, you can tell that she's a network marketing. Okay, you can tell because of the language she uses. Registered nurse, entrepreneur in health and wellness industry. So she is a six figure earner in a network marketing business. She's not a prospect for your business. The only reason that you want it to be connected to her is because she has 21,000 followers. She's actually connected to 21,000 people on LinkedIn. So everybody that she's connected to, because remember, you've, you've only got, what, 44 people. So by, so by being connected to her, let me show you what that just did for you. 
So we're going to go over to your network. You got 44 people. Now, you got 43 people directly on your first level. But look how many, all of these people have connections. So let's see how many people they connect you to. 68,000 people. Wow. Okay. So her connections, plus my 9,000 connections, plus everybody else's connections, expands your network. And then if we look at the third level, in total, you're connected to 848 million people on LinkedIn. So you now have the ability to reach out and connect with a lot of people. So all you want to do is when people come back and, and accept the connection, what you want to do is you want to hit them with the icebreaker. How long have you been on LinkedIn? How's it working for you? And here, this is somebody that, that you haven't talked to since 2017. Right. So there's a lot of people that you're going to be able to go back to if you want. All right. And again, what we have to do is we have to get that list of people up. So every day you want to be reaching out to at least 20 people and you're, you're basically on your way. There's no reason why, even though you're just getting started, your goal should be to make one sale a week. To start, okay. okay. Right. And that, that's something even in the early stages you can do because of your background. All right. Now let's come over and let's take a look at Let's see who else put something in here. All right. All right, so Dennis, Let's uh, pop back over here. Okay, so let me unmute Dennis. Morning, Max. Hey, good, good morning, Dennis. Um, so right now you got 250 people that you're connected to. Okay, and yeah. uh, realistically, you, you, you can be connecting to at 20 people a day, 100 people a week. Uh, at the end of a month, you could you could increase this to by 400 people every month, conservatively. But you want to make sure. sure that the people that you're talking to are clearly um, prospects, you know, for for your business. So right. Okay. So I think last week you told me that you're selling this, you know, this thing that gives everybody, you know, great better gas mileage. And right. Okay. So since we talked, how many people have you signed up? Three. Okay. Well, that's good. And and how did you how did you get to them? Uh, just from sending them a uh, message on Facebook mainly. Okay, let's go over here on Facebook. Now the people that you brought in to the business off of Facebook. Are they going to end up as individual users, or do they have? No, two. One, one was Amela Luca, so he was a networker already. He's up in Colorado, 
<clears throat> and then um, actually my twin brother's in Michigan and he signed up just to try the product out and use it. So I don't know if he'll do much, if he'll do much at all. And then another guy in Chicago that was okay. in another network marketing company as well. Huh? So uh, I don't see you here. Are, are we connected on Facebook? Yeah, I think so. Should be. Okay, I don't see your picture there. Yeah, seven. Oh, here you are. Here you are. There we go. There we go. That's it. Okay, so well, listen. As long as you're you're adding people, then you know you can't you kind of have the routine down. But you know, and if you could be signing off somebody every day, that's really where you want to go. Right, exactly. Ultimately, you want to look at the caliber of the people that you're bringing into the business. For example, if it, you know, I would think that any network marketer, doesn't matter what they do, anybody that drives a car would be interested in your, your, your product. So, so um, it's almost like I told you, a no brainer. You, you, you have probably one of the easiest things to, um, you know, to market and sell. Now, whether, yeah, they, you, now the thing is that um, whether a network marketer that's in another deal is going to um, drop everything or, or, or look to promote what you're doing. For example, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, to be a... Um, as a business, what does it cost for somebody to um, get into your business? $60. Okay. So you bring somebody into your business and what do you make? Uh, I make a fast start bonus. And then um, I think it's, I don't even know, 15, 15 bucks or so. Okay. So uh, fast start bonus, $15. Now, and then obviously when you get a percentage of, whatever they spend on products. But, right. But at that level, at that rate, in order for you, or for that matter, for anybody to be really making some serious money, you got you, you to gotta have a large group of people that are buying. Right, exactly. Okay. So again, it's nice that the thing is, and this is the thing that I pointed out to you about LinkedIn. You go over here on LinkedIn and uh, anybody, I mean, it'll be, it'd be exactly the same thing. You could come up over here and you could look for anybody that's an Uber driver. Well, Max, the other category I forgot about, I own a 40 foot Newmark country star, holds a hundred gallons of diesel. Okay. And I just put it in this past week to start testing it out to see if I get eight miles to the gallon. So if I can get that up to, you know, even nine or 10 or 11, that's a great testimony. That's right. I so, just have to go. I just have to go someplace. <laughs> well, um, yeah, or it might be worth, you know, testing it yourself, drive it from A to B, drive it for a hundred miles. Back and yeah, forth and, and see yeah. what you come. But the bottom yeah, so line, was, but the bottom. Yeah, so I was thinking about doing. But the bottom line is, there are there are like Uber drivers. You have one hundred thirty-two thousand people that are, are Uber drivers. You come over here and and look for if you know. You can put down this driver. So you got truck drivers. 
you know, all these people that could be interested in, in what you're doing. And so it's, it's, it's good that you're, you know, making one sale a day, but you could be making four or five sales a day. Yeah, or can. Yeah, well, no, you can't. L listen, um, there are, I, I'll, I'll give you a call later because okay. the, 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 there are some things that, you know, are easy, really easy to do. And, and this is a, a, a program that in order for it to work, in order for you to be making the kind of money that you're looking to making, you need hundreds and hundreds of people that are using the product. But more important than that, uh, you, you, want, you want dozens of people that are out there sharing it with other people. One of the things we talked about was people that own the truck stop, people that own, that, that have networks that they could immediately uh, reach out to and and then you're there yeah exactly okay. so so and linkedin is without a question you're, you're gonna see this when we um um when we start diving into some conversations you're gonna see what i'm talking about okay so, great so here we have uh steve And uh, to see who we talking, who we, who we, uh, hi, Max. Good morning. Hey, Consuelo replied, but she still did not answer that question. And we got Gary and Lori, L O R I. Well, let's look at Consuelo first. Now, Now, have you been talking to her for a long time? Maybe not. Well, you've been talking to her since the beginning of the month, okay? And she is a terrific prospect for your business. Now, and she just got fired. Okay. So now, and she lost her job with 30 people. And when did she lose her job? She lost her job. I forget. June, something like that. Yeah. I think, yeah. So she lost her job in. In June. In, in June. Okay. Now, the longer it takes her to find another job, the better, okay? The more open she's going to be anxious to look at what, what you're doing. Now, um, now, notice so far she's never asked you what you do. Right. Okay? So... A lot of people let go. So what are you going to do next? Okay. I like creating the training material. Meeting new people with each class and training. Okay. So she says, what keeps you busy? So here's where you messed up. Right. Okay. Um, this was the, you ask somebody what they do, they're going to come back and ask you the same question. Okay, what keeps you busy and inspired? So there's a way, though, to, to circle back and, and, and move this thing along. Okay, so what keeps you inspired? Uh, so I got into mortgages years ago. I'm a teacher at heart. So now, 
as you get answers from people, these answers are going to play a big role in how you transition to talking about your business. So she's a teacher at heart. All right. Training and working with salespeople is what you enjoy the most. Teacher at heart, training and training and working with salespeople. Okay, so now we're gonna come down here. So she had an interview. Okay, nothing yet. What kind of job are you looking for? She didn't tell you. Okay. We're going to take off the gloves. Now, it's a Labor Day weekend. So first, we're going to come up here and Here we go. So first we're gonna send her this. Okay, now, a lot of competition. So that might be the next hurdle to overcome. I'm working hard to stand out amongst the others. Okay, yeah. so let's take a look at what she doesn't have. Doesn't, you know, this is a cover put out by LinkedIn. Nothing effective there. And um, her settings are off. So that's two things that are okay. So there are a couple of things that she could do, and let's come over here to contact information. Oh, she's got her birthday down there, but for all intents and purposes, there are some things that she can be doing with her profile. Now, we come back here and we look at what, whoops. So she said here, a lot of competition. Okay. So she's looking for She's looking for a training job, right? Wasn't that what she... Right. So, a, a training professional. She come up here. So training, and let's do looking. We'll do a quick one. So there are 160,000 people that are looking for training jobs. Now, let's do it another way. Trainer. Whoa. Whoa. 
So you got 2.4 million trainers that are looking. So let's come back to out there. Maybe this is over. Okay. So a lot of competition. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. You're not kidding. A lot of competition. I did a search and found over two million people with with training experience with as trainers that are looking for a new position. Now, with with your passion for teaching and teaching others and let's use her words Training and working with salespeople. And you use their words. Okay. There are many opportunities out there <laughs> where would Very successful and could start immediately Um, what experience have you had with the network marketing business model? So that's the question that we had to get to. Now we could do one thing. Let's come back up here. I'll be having a fabulous weekend. I 
All right, so we're gonna send that. And who are the others? Lori, L-O-R-I. As you, 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 we're learning enough. Which one? Uh, the second one. I love this. So this is the woman in Canada, right? She's the woman that was in Canada and her boyfriend got a job in Houston in the oil and gas field. And uh, so she moved down there with him. She's an accountant and trying to get a job down there, but nobody will sponsor her. Okay. All right. I knew I, okay. And so what we told her was that, listen, let's just come up here and, okay. Um, okay, wait, a, I don't see where, uh, something's missing. Yeah, really, that, that, ma that, bril that brilliant me message that, that, that we wrote is not there. Let me refresh. Okay, we're gonna save this for our next coaching session, all right? Because this is, I knew she was, basically what we did was we said there are people in the United States from Canada that have a business. They're, the business is in Canada, but they're working in the United States. And, and uh, okay. So um, let's let that should be the first one we talk about, you know, in our next session. Let me take a look at I you, got you know, you know, I, I forgot to schedule another session. I think the next session I have is way out in October. No, no, we don't. We don't no, no, no. What, what I want you to do is reach out to Casey and tell Casey we need 30 minutes and she'll get you on the schedule this week. OK. All right. Tell, thanks. All right. Tell her I told her to put you on the schedule. All right. So let me. Take yeah, that was. Yeah, and that that message is missing. That was the that was the the key part of this whole thing. Oh, I know. But let let me see if where did that go? Um, here it is, right here. So we said many professionals from Canada that currently live in the United States have an online business that generates income and pays them wherever they live. Somehow, somehow that didn't make it. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe we're being, um, maybe we're being spied on, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no, but, but, that, but, that, but her reply, that looks like she saw what we said. No, she did. I, I don't know why it's not there. But I knew. I knew she was going to be. Who wouldn't be interested? Because your reply solved her problem. Okay? Your reply solved her problem. Let me. Um, okay, let me. All right, now let me, I'm going to put this in the chat window here in case some of you missed this. At, uh, at one o'clock today, I'm going to be holding a mastermind session. And let me... Um, Come up here and 
Catherine, are, are you uh, able to... Uh... Yes. Okay. So you'll be the first one we we go to. Okay. In, 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 in that session, I I just sent you all. Thank you. I just sent you all a link to um, my mastermind session, and uh, okay. So so Joseph, get getting back to your question. Um, when you are talking to people that you're connected to, you ask them what they do, they're going to come back, they're going to ask you what you do. And so you have an opportunity to there to bring up the whole concept, uh, you know, uh, of insurance. And so depending upon what people do, it's not hard to work that into it's not hard to work it into the conversation, it really isn't. And all you want to know is, are they happy with the insurance that they have? Okay, let me. And so let me come over here. So, Margaret. I'm um, looking for you on LinkedIn. And you're not coming up. So if people can't see you. Not much is going to happen. And uh, see a face that I haven't seen in a while. And let me unmute Todd. Consuela just replied. Did she? What you say? Yeah, hi, Todd. Uh, 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 Stephen, what you say? She just said two million question mark with a 
emoji like oh no yeah well she didn't okay but she didn't answer your question no okay it's okay let her think about it let her, let her think about it um see the, the other parts of this whole process is people have to you're talking to someone and and if you're talking to somebody and you've got a connection you ask them a question they answer when you're talking to people and they don't answer your questions it's it, the conversation gets down to it's pulling teeth you're like pulling teeth pulling teeth so that's why we're going and hey we got to let her know okay let, believe me she will come back she will she will come back okay no 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 question about it and uh if they don't answer your questions we have to think of another way to ask the question so um so todd welcome back it's been two years but yeah <laughs> nice to see you so are you still in the same are you still in the same business you're still working with isogenics um i'm back to working with life vantage okay and uh but I've been kind of on low hiatus for the last couple of years because of my leg. Two weeks ago, I just had surgery on my knee, so I'm in recovery right now. Okay. Well, you know, the good news is that you don't have to be mobile to, um, to, to you know, to build the business. Yeah. My, my suggestion is let me we have a special promotion for the holidays and and uh, uh there's two ways you could go one way would be to jump into the september boot camp actually but what you should probably do is we have uh we have a special promotion where uh -huh. you can where you can participate in two boot camps the september one and the october one okay for um i think it's 118 dollars it's like 59 dollars a boot camp okay so that that so if you go to um max forward slash t-w-o twofer okay t-w-o dash f-e-r let me um Come back over here. And let me. <clears throat> so I go to maxlanger.com forward says two fur and use the okay. promo use the promo code double. It'll drop okay. the it'll drop the price to um $118 for both. Okay. And that's and assume and, but here's the thing as soon as you do it you'll also have access to the boot camp that we just finished the august boot camp okay. it's almost like three and yeah. we've got some strategies in there that you're going to be able to use to basically take advantage of the holidays okay all righty so welcome back appreciate right. it let me take a look at Okay, so I told all of you, we have a, um, we're doing a mastermind session at one o'clock. And so feel free to um, jump over there. If you look, look in the chat, I gave you all a, a link to it. And uh, I hope you all have an amazing, I'm telling you, there francisco like i said how did he do 25 in seven days he's talking to people that share his passion for holidays passion for an activity i mean that's how it works and uh so 
So let me, let me. Okay, so I put in the chat window the link for the mastermind. Look in the chat. And uh, Margaret says she is. Okay, so let's see. Let's come back over here. Let's see it. Maybe this is you. Okay, so this is you. Well, you're just getting started. I'm going to send you a connection request, but it needs a lot of work. A lot of work. Okay, we're going to be back at 1 o'clock for our, our mastermind. And uh, We'll see all of you there.